Hi, I'm Miss Kristen of the Ooster Help Free Library. This year, our summer reading program is called Oceans of Possibilities. If you haven't already signed up, you can still sign up in person at the library or by using the Read Squared app or website. I'll include all this information in the description box below, along with a link that you can use to sign up. Now, I think that oceans and all the creatures that live in the ocean are pretty cool. The ocean covers 71% of the Earth's surface, and a lot of it has never been explored. So there's still a lot more to learn about it, which I think is pretty cool. How much do you know about the ocean? Well, today, the ocean is going to tell you some cool facts in this book called Ocean Waves for All. And yes, I said the ocean is going to tell us about the ocean, which I think is kind of fun. Then I'll also show you how to make your own ocean in the bottle so you can explore some cool ocean waves right in your own home. So let's dive in right now to the book, Ocean Waves for All. Ocean Waves for All, written by Stacy McAnulty and illustrated by David Litchfield. Published by Henry Holt and Company. Dude, I am Ocean. You know my many names, Atlantic, Pacific, Arctic, Indian, Southern. It's all excellent me. My salt water flows across the planet as one. I'm free. Earth is called the blue planet because of my epic deep water. I swirl over 71% of our world. I have no flag, no nationality. My waves are for all. I'm older than the air you dudes breathe. I've been here for about four billion years. Most of my salty H2O formed as baby Earth began chilling, as in cooling off. But some water may have been delivered by icy comets. Boom! For millions of years, I was cruising solo. Then came land. Dry to my wet, I was stoked for this change. Life on Earth began in my epic waters. Way small at first, like microscopic, man. But life grows and gets totally interesting. And like a boss, I hold some righteous records. Home to Earth's biggest animal. The blue whale dwarfs any dinosaur. The longest range. Meet the mid-ocean ridge. The largest living structure. The Great Barrier Reef. This beauty can be seen from the moon. Far out. I'm rolling in riches like gold, oil, silver, and even diamonds. I don't need pavement to be the ultimate highway. More than 50,000 merchant ships can travel my waves on a single day. I deliver food, clothes, toys, books, surfboards, and everything you dudes need. I'm a deep, layered soul. Sunlight zone. Twilight zone. Midnight zone. Abyss. Trenches. My deepest spot at 11,030 meters is in the Mariana Trench, 
I could swallow Mount Everest. Moon controls my tides, high and low. Twice a day, ah, harmony. And I keep Earth's climate just right. At least I try to. I am the ultimate friend, your bro. Without me, there's no animals, no plants, no you. I want people to know me. You dudes have better picture of Mars than of my bottom. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And more humans have visited outer space than my deepest spots. Awesome for out of space, but bummer for me. 90% of my waters are completely dark, cold, and yet totally rad. Come, come explore my secrets. Check it out. Tube worms. Hydrothermal vents. Volcanoes. Talk about totally tubular. Sad news, dudes. I'm facing a major wipeout. Whole islands of plastic and garbage float in my waters. Whoa, not cool. Some creatures are struggling to survive. Overfishing is a major bummer. Glaciers and icebergs are melting super fast, too. Too fast. But together, we can get back in the zone. Let's find that sweet balance. I am your neighbor, your friend, your past, and your future. Dude, I am ocean. Wow, there's so many cool things to learn about the ocean. I hope you'll check this book out from the library because there's more cool facts in the back of the book, along with a fun interview with the ocean and some fun tips on how you can be a friend to the ocean. So check it out for yourself. And if you like this book, then check out the other books in the series by the same author. And I'll include a link in the description box below. Now, let's make some waves of our own. But first, what is a wave? No, not this kind of wave. Ocean waves. Well, a wave is the moving ridge on the surface of the water. But what exactly causes a wave? Well, basically, waves are caused by wind. The wind causes friction over the surface of the water, and that gives the water enough energy to move, and that is when we see waves. Other waves, called tidal waves, are caused by the gravitational pull of the moon and the sun on the Earth. Big waves are called tsunamis, and they're caused by sudden movement of the Earth, like from earthquakes, volcano eruptions, or even landslides. So, now that we know a little bit about waves, let's make our own ocean in a bottle. So you can see up close just how waves work. But you're going to need an adult helper, a clear bottle or jar, some water, food coloring, an oil, either cooking oil or baby oil, and I recommend some strong tape or hot glue to seal the top of your bottle or jar that you're going to use, just so there's not any accidental leaks. And then you might also want to use gloves if your food coloring um, bottles are a little bit messy, like mine were a little messy. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to fill a clear bottle one third of the way or even half full of water. Then you're going to add a few drops of food coloring and mix it to the shade of blue that you wish to have. Then you're going to fill the remaining bottle with oil. 
You might want to leave some space for the optional items if you want to add some of those. Then you're going to allow the bottle to sit still for a moment or so, so that the bubbles, which are air, can rise to the top. Then we're going to explore our ocean. Now, here's how you're going to explore your ocean. What do you see? Does the blue water and the oil mix together or are they separate? Well, what's happening there? Well, they're not mixing together because oil is less dense or it's lighter than water. So it's going to float above the water. Then you're going to hold your bottle horizontally and move it back and forth. What do you see? What's happening in your reef bottle? Now the movement of the bottle can cause the water to move back and forth. And because the oil is less dense than the water, it won't mix with the water. And so you see this motion of the wave. Pretty cool, right? Now, if you wanted to add other small items to the bottle, you might want to find out if it's, do you think it's going to float or do you think it's going to sink? Some suggested items to include are glitter, sequins, small foam or plastic toys, or even some small food items that might represent like a fish, like raisins, or even a boat, like a pecan. Use your imagination and see what you come up with. Now, if you're going to play with your wave bottle for a while, I do recommend putting some um, like duct tape or like I said, glue to make sure you don't have an accidental leaks. Now, maybe once you're exploring your wave bottle, you'll get excited to learn more about the ocean and you can stop by the library and check out some cool books and then stay tuned for the rest of our fun summer reading activities coming up this summer. I hope you had fun. I hope you keep exploring and I'll see you next time. Bye.